Hello friends, Avikash here. Welcome to this final part of this video tutorial series. In this uh, tutorial series, we will be hosting our website onto our web server. So, to do that, you may notice the, that when we run our website, it is hosting on this local computer on this temporary port created by IS uh, Visual Studio. Eh? But that's not the best way to host your website. Eh? To, so the couple of options uh, we have are uh, like if, if we go to uh, show in explorer this is our website uh, this is our entire website and if you see the size of the folder is just uh, 1.43 megabytes uh, it's great because everything we have in here is all codes and uh, it will run very fast on any platform eh? mobile device or any computer or so we have to copy this entire folder and upload it to our web server some of the paid service uh, they that host esp websites are as follows and here are the charges or you can if if you only need to host your database maybe on the on your internal network and you may have a server uh, installed even if you have a don't have a server installed you can just uh, go to control panel and uh, go to windows features and turn on of windows features and uh, install iis service eh? iis is windows web server eh? hosting service so we have a internet information services and we have to install all that eh? once uh, you install iis service you will get this iis manager and here you can just uh, go to your sites and add our new website and type the site name and type uh, and browse the physical part of the folder which I was showing and then just write to whatever domain name you want and then run the website eh? but I already have a web server set up in my network so I will just uh, host there eh? so let me just copy this entire folder copy and let's uh, switch remote desktop to our server and here in in my maybe my documents folder let's just paste the entire website eh? so entire website is here and now let's host it eh? so we run is on this server i already have a few websites running so we right click add a new website and then a site name would be a youtube tutorial and the physical path would be in my documents i believe I just copied uh, YouTube site and everything is okay and here we have to uh, write a domain name uh, for internal network you can create a fake domain name and if you want to host it on the internet an internal domain then you have to buy a genuine domain name eh? I already purchased a domain name you can buy from any host if, for example Google is giving uh, for twelve dollars in EI eh? So I, I already have a domain name avikasnandan.com from Google. Eh? Once you buy a domain name from a registrar like Google or GoDaddy, you will get an online DNS panel. I will show that later how to forward request from the DNS panel to the server you are hosting. That's for internet hosting. But for local hosting and internet hosting, you can just, uh, for example, I will write here database.avikasnandan dot com that's my domain name and it's okay and let's quickly go to the application pool and the youtube tutorial we just created we select that and go to advanced setting and here we change the framework for for the framework we're using that's version 4.0 and 32 bit application mode true if you're using newer versions of access you can use 64 bit as well eh? so 32 bit there and this is the site and to browse the site i have to set it up in my dns uh, internal dns server because we i don't uh, so here in your internal dns server it's all in your server just right click on forward lookup zone and create a new zone eh? and go next 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 and here you write the domain you want eh? so avikasnandan.com i am already have avikasnandan.com so i will select that right click and add a new address record here eh? address record for for the the website that is uh, i think it's a youtube tutorial eh? so 
YouTube T U T O R I L dot avikasnathan dot com and the website uh, that's not I'm not sure that's the name of the website eh? it's a uh, it's YouTube tutorial okay so we write down the IP address of the seva on which uh, we are hosting the website eh? the internal IP address so address record has been added YouTube tutorial and let's see if indeed that was the site we created eh? so we browse the site and it was actually database not YouTube eh? this is the name sorry so let's just quickly update that to database uh, let's delete this and then add a new address record called database database dot avikasnanan.com and then write the IP and then save it up sometimes it takes a while to refresh so we restart the so it runs fine so if we, if we try to login it logins type in the password logs in fine and this is the URL that can be used from any computer in the network okay so if we minimize this and come to the actual PC here and then we open the page here uh, and we go to database dot uh, avikash nadan dot com sure enough website can be accessed from here Tom, and we pass for 22 login yes and we can see all the current stock and everything the only thing is uh, when you host website on the seva and if you want to make changes I mean save on the database what you have to do is uh, go to the web server where your website is hosted go to the website folder and right click go to properties and go to security and give everyone right access it's not dangerous because nobody will actually be able to access the folder here but everyone has to have right access uh, otherwise people on the internet will have no access to the website eh? so in any case now the final thing I will show you how to access the website from the internet so if you own a domain like I do avikashnadan.com then I, I get a DNS control panel from the host where we buy the uh, domain and it's avikashnadan and so I can just log in here and on the DNS panel we have all kind of record we just have to edit record you all the DNS panel will be a bit different but kind of similar so we do have to do the same thing so we add a new record and the record we we here we type uh, database data base uh, and the IP address of the seva you are hosting it in this in it will be not this because it's an internal IP address it will be the static IP address of the seva which you will get from the host eh? so you type that and save and, and then anybody in the internet can access your website when they type in uh, the name database.ajangroup.com on any, any device at all and then they can use your database and write files and everything eh? so this completes the tutorial series thank you all for watching and uh, and for one last thing before i go uh, if if we print you can see even though we can print uh, the pages we need but uh, uh, you might want to hide like buttons and this header and everything or maybe reformat for the report eh? i'm using browser, browser browser's print so for that you just uh, google something and uh, there is a style sheet you create called print.css and when uh, you're printing from the browser that style, style sheet will take in effect and in that style sheet you can just hide and show uh, places you want eh? uh, for the report printing and everything and that sums up this tutorial thank you all for watching hope you can get something out of this please subscribe to my channel and thank you